Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn about number bonds and number bonds to 20. Now before we begin with our first example I'm going to write some numbers down on the left hand side. Now you've seen this before so I'm sure you'll know what I'm doing. Okay, we keep going down from 0 to 10. Okay, so it's 0 to 10. And then that's the first column done. The second column, we're going to start at 10. And we're going to count upwards. And make sure this is in nice, neat rows. a lot easier when you've got lined paper. Okay, so we've done that. Now what do you notice about the pair of numbers? And it's simple. They all add to 20. 1 and 19 equals 20. 2 and 18 equals 20. And so on. So we've got 7 and 13 equals 20, 8 and 12 equals 20, and so on. We go all the way right down to 10 plus 10 equals 20. Okay, so that is number bonds to 20. Now let's see how this works in practice with our first example. What is 20 minus something equals 12. So 20 minus something equals 12. I'm just going to change colors for this. Have a look at the number on the right. Okay, we've got 12. It's 20 minus something equals 12. Now where can you find 12 on the number grid on the left? It's over here. That's 12. What is next to 12? It is 8. That is the answer. 20 minus 8 equals 12. In fact, we can even write this down as 20 equals 12. We're going to move the 8 over here. Plus 8. 20 equals 12 plus 8. Okay, that means exactly the same. So we found our answer without having to use the dot method head and fingers, or counting pictures. As long as you know how to write the grid on the left, you can work this out. Let's have a look at one more example. So we've got 20 minus something equals 6. 20 minus something equals 6. Now what do you think you should do next? Well, we know it's a number bond because we've got 20 over here and we've got equals 6. So where can you find 6 on the number grid? Let's have a look for it. It is over here. 6 and 14. 6 and 14. So we can write that down. 20 minus 14 equals 6. 20 minus 14 equals 6. That is the same as if we wrote down 20 equals 6 plus, let's move the 14 across, 14. Okay, so that is the answer. So the first thing you should realize is, if you can write the numbers on the left-hand side, and I'm talking about the numbers over here in this grid, then you can work out the number bonds to 20 very, very quickly. And in time, you'll be able to do this by memorizing which numbers added together make 20 and you can also work out which numbers subtracted can also give you 20 as well.